what is informatics? This is a question we get a lot because informatics is still in the United States kind of a new field. We can think about two definitions that go hand in hand. The first one is that informatics is the study of computing as a process or a practice. The other part of the definition that we could think about is using technologically driven methods to solve everyday problems. The informatics degree is a very special degree in IU, I think, because it allows students to focus on a specific, essentially specialization, or cognate, we would say, in the informatics school. And the cognate I chose was human centered computing, which is essentially learning how to to design systems specifically for the benefit of humans and solving human problems. Human-centered computing is definitely one of the more popular ones, but there are a range of focuses you can choose by pursuing an informatics degree at IU. One of the things that makes IU's informatics program stand out amongst the rest is that it's one of the first that existed within the country, and so we have a lot of experience building this program for our undergraduates. We are able to bring faculty from a wide range of disciplines, as we've mentioned, so you'll be able to take several several different courses that have uh, different flavors that you might be interested in. If you're really excited about the coding and developing, say, Arduino tools, then you can do that. If you're really interested in studying, say, literature and ethics, you can do that. There are just so many ways in which we are working to make this a unique, wonderful opportunity. So the first course I took um, informatics was the introduction course, which is a requirement for all students. I think unlike many of the introduction courses, that course was, I think, specifically vague because they wanted students to always keep an open mind, to understand that the data in this world can be interpreted in so many different ways. The introduction course really helped me always be willing to explore different areas in this field. So students could get all kinds of jobs with a degree in informatics. Our goal is to set students up to be able to understand technical things, have a bit of understanding of coding and networking, and something else. So maybe they also have expertise in business or expertise in psychology or expertise in chemistry. Many of our graduates might go into companies and be the person that bridges, say, the IT department with other departments. They may be a little bit closer to business consultants. The jobs that you'll be able to get are jobs that are well-rounded where you can do a number of things and sit in a position to analyze um, from various perspectives. We have a career fair that happens every single semester where you'll be able to meet employers from all over the country who come in and talk to you about getting jobs with them. We have highly developed programs to help you get internships. We have career services staff members who will help you with your resume. There's an entire staff of people here ready to help you on your career path. I think the one course that made me realize I wanted to continue to pursue informatics was the course on human computer interaction. It was the first design course and the first course that involved any sort of art in informatics. I always consider myself to be fairly artistic as a person. Previous to that course, um, informatics felt quite rigid to me, the sense of technology and machines, but I was introduced to the idea of design and technology and how that combined and why design in technology is super important. I just knew deep down that technology was such an important thing in society, such an important aspect in society. I think that course really helped me change my perspective on informatics and what it means to use technology to solve problems.